Hey guys, it's Lisa here from Fair Foodie. Today I'm going to take you through how to set up your business listing on Fair Foodie. I should mention that today I'm using Chrome as my browser and that works really well with our site as do most of the other uh, browsers. However, if you're using Internet Explorer, I should mention that it's best to upgrade to the latest version of Internet Explorer to make sure you receive all of the features available in Fair Foodie. So Fair Foodie um, is a great place to list your business for Australians to find and support you. The first step is to register your details. So go to the top right corner in the register button and when you click here, you'll notice that you need to uh, enter your username, email and a password and agree to the privacy policy and terms and conditions and click the register button. You may also choose to log in with Facebook if you prefer. Now, if you've already registered, you just go straight to the login button. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to go straight to the login button. Um, however, if you haven't done this previously, make sure that you go to your email account and confirm your registration uh, before you get started. Otherwise, you won't be able to set up your business listing. So here we are, we've logged in and you'll see at the top right corner there's a button, a big red button said add listing. So click here to get started. Now here you'll notice there's three options. The first one is add business. So this is where we will build that, the listing today. The middle button add event allows you to use a very similar setup model to add your face to face or virtual event. Um, and you're welcome to do this at any stage and attach it to your business. And the third option is to add private chef. So for the chefs out there who would like to offer in-home dining or offer their services for catering purposes, they can set up their online profile here as a chef. Again, the technology and the process is very similar to what we're about to go through. So please feel free to use this uh, this video to help you get through the events and chef set up also. So today we'll go to add business. Now you've got two options here. The free package is very much suitable for pretty much everyone out there unless you own um, you know multiple uh, businesses and restaurants or um, farms that you'd like to uh, list 10 or more in the premium package on the right but for the purpose of today we'll go to the free package and probably nine out of ten of you will also use the free package. Great so here this this login section is quite user friendly and intuitive we're going to take you through all the steps to set up your business and list your menu. The first step is gallery so here is the, the top photos that appear at the top of your business listing. So choose the best ones that represent your business. And it's a simple click and upload uh, technology, similar to something you might be familiar with in say Facebook. Um, so select the photo from your files. So select files, choose your preferred um, gallery photos in your folders. And just while we're here, I should mention on our site we have a couple of tips in the how it works section where you can uh, learn how to resize your images using Canva which is a free technology as well, really great website that we recommend um, to make sure that these are the correct size and dimensions for our site. You can upload JPEG and PNG files here. Great, so our photos have now uploaded and you'll see them there. If you've selected the wrong photo for any reason, just click the cross in the top right corner of each image uh, to delete it. Great, so um, now here, the next step is to choose your featured image. So this is the main one that will run across the very top of your profile. So choose your best photo, make sure it's a high resolution image so that it comes up very clear and not blurry on a large screen. There it is, it's done. 
And now the next step is delivery options. So you choose which one suits your business, whether you allow customers to pick up from your store or your front gate your, or your farm gate, whether you offer drive up or local delivery or Australia wide delivery, you can choose as many options that suit your business. The next step is business hours. So here you can choose which hours you're open, which day. And if you are a cafe that is open for breakfast, uh, breakfast shifts and then lunch or dinner shifts, you can offer um, you know, morning open hours and afternoon open hours. Or you can just say you're open you know, from nine to five or whichever hours suit you. Similarly, if you're closed, just flick the switch to close for that day. If you're always open because you're an online market um, where people can always buy online, then there you go, you can tick the always open. Or if you've got no hours available at this point in time, for whatever reason you might be on holiday, you can just switch off the hours right there. So now we go into our business name. So our lovely friends at Numero Uno have allowed us to set up this profile for them today. Thank you guys, really great coffee I recommend. So we put in their business name first and then the second line is for a tagline. So something that really uh, speaks to your customers about your brand and your business logo. So again, upload your uh, JPEG or PNG file here. Our next step is to add your business description. So you can copy this straight out of your own website or your Facebook if you've written a description before or if you haven't written one I recommend that you do write one because everybody loves to learn more about your business. The great thing is you can just copy and drop it straight in including images and links and it will uh, reappear exactly as you've copied it in from your other site. Um, it's a great place to add your business heritage, how long you've been in operation, who's the founder and the, the business, um, you know, if there's a family operated business, who's behind the scenes and ma making this magic happen. Uh, if you believe in organic or sustainable farming or, or whatever your beliefs and purposes are, be sure to include them here. People love hearing your story. Great, so the next section is to tag your business to a category that suits you. So here you'll notice that there's some little arrows on the left side of the box which has some subcategories. So tick all that suit your business. If you offer um, here, we've got the drink section um, or eateries, you can see you'll drop down to see uh, the subcategories. So here we'll tick cafes under eateries and also I think in the drink section we'll uh, tick drinks. If there's a subcategory that matches your brand, make sure that you tick them all. You can always come back and add more later if you choose to do so. The next section is tags. So again, we're showing features that are really great about your business. So if you offer um, fair trade, for example, or biodegradable packaging, if you're award winning, you should show off about it, make sure everyone knows. And if you're Australian owned, of course, um, you should be if you're on our site anyway, but make sure you tick the box just to, to reaffirm to everybody who you are and what you stand for. Now here is where you're going to list your business address. So choose the state that you belong in first. If you're a purely online business, you can tick the Australia wide option. However, the next line is to add your business address, particularly if you're a store or shop front or a farm gate, you want people to be able to find you. Make sure you put your address in here and the latitude and longitude will automatically be um, populated so you don't need to worry about figuring that part out. That will just match itself to your address that you've typed in. So for the purposes of today, we've just um, we've put in a dummy address. Um, here the contact information is for your business, so make sure you put in the public information that you want people to see, not your own personal email address, but your business email, uh, so that people can get in touch and ask questions or um, get to know you further. So there's an email, there's a phone, and then there's your website. So we're just again copying that over from uh, the Numero Uno website.
make sure you do put in your website address if you have one. And then the next section is to add your social media platform. So you'll notice the little click, the little plus add social button allows you to add more channels. The first one was Facebook, which we assume most businesses have, but if you don't offer Facebook, of course, you can just tick, press the little cross next to that name to make it disappear. So on the left, you'll see the name Facebook, and on the right is a space to add the link to your Facebook um, channel. And same with Instagram, add that URL in so that people can find you. And if you do have Twitter, or YouTube or um, Pinterest, or any other platform here, you'll see there's a whole load, LinkedIn, Skype, WhatsApp. If you do want people to get in touch with you via WhatsApp, for example, um, there's a really great place to put it. Also, if you have a Spotify um, playlist attached to your business, there's a great place to put it too. So there's many, many channels that you can add there. Here we're also adding a Vimeo. We've got a uh, great Vimeo video here to share on the Numero Uno uh, business listing. So again, I'll just pause here with the video URLs. Um, you can add YouTube or Vimeo links here. Best place to do it is to open a new window to YouTube or Vimeo, copy over that URL and then paste it into that line. The next one is media channel. So here, this again, you can put in here whatever your top channel is. So if you do have a Spotify account or Instagram's your thing, uh, here you go. You can just add, upload an image which best describes your platform and then uh, the URL again. That's kind of like your hero media channel. Great. We're almost there, we're down to menu and pricing now. So you can, you can create a couple of menus to suit your business. So for this purpose, for the Numero Uno, we're, we're setting up a coffee menu as well as a tea menu. So you'll see here, when you press the little arrow, um, you'll, you'll see a menu option drop down. We'll add the menu name. So the first one will be Numero Uno, coffee. So we've added the name and the coffee menu and here you can choose the little icon that suits you. So we're adding the cart, the shopping cart option here. So under the what is the name of the menu, now we can add the menu items. So this arrow here allows you to upload each product separately. So the first product we're adding is the black mamba which is a coffee bean. We're copying over the name of the product, the description of the product, and again, click to upload an image. Similar to the process we did before, we've already saved the images to our folder to make this quicker, and I recommend you save all of your products ahead of time just to speed things up for yourself too. You can add multiple images here and you add the price. You don't need to put the dollar sign, just put the number for the price. And then copy over that URL from your website if you are linking back to your website products. If we are setting up a e-commerce store for you on Fair Foodie, we'll have a slightly different process but for now, use the image of, uh, sorry, use the URL of your own website. And then where it says is open in a new window, the answer is yes, so that people can click out to that product and then find their way back to the rest of your menu. So the next product we're uploading is the Picasso blend. So the same process, copy over the name, the description, Upload the image. Put in the price. And then a link to, oopsie, 
a link to the URL where your product is hosted on your website and open it in a new window with the answer yes. So we'll do the same for one more coffee product and then we'll upload the tea menu. You can see once you've done one or two then it becomes quite fast, you'll get the hang of it. Uh, every new platform takes a, a few minutes to work it out but it's actually quite an intuitive platform once you get rolling. Great, so the next one is to add new. So here is where we add our second menu. So our second menu we've already decided is going to be for tea. So we'll select the icon being the shopping cart again. Um, and as mentioned before, if you are, for example, a cafe that you have a breakfast menu and a lunch menu, you might want to keep those separate. Uh, we select our image, our, the product name. description and again the image so this time we're putting up chamomile tea and we select the URL from that product page and the price and open in a new window yes one more product Cloud and Miss T, that sounds nice. Upload the image. Put in the price and the URL. and we open a new window. Great! So if you're just listing your products and linking to your own site, that's where your, uh, your business listing has finished there. If you are choosing to create an e-commerce shop for customers to click and buy on the site, um, it is a shorter journey and it does enable the customer to uh, add items from your shop to their card as well as other shops and make one purchase at once um, which is a great option for the customer. You can set up the e-commerce section um, after this. We will have a separate video showing you how to do that but in the, the first most importantly is once you've come all this way make sure you press the big submit button at the bottom. Great, so once you see the thank you message, you know that your business listing has been registered. So just while I'm here, I should highlight on the bottom left corner, there is a little chat box. So if you run into any problems at all, please get in touch. Just drop us a line here. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, and we're happy to uh, call you back or email or whatever suits you. You can request a phone call back at a time that's convenient to you in this chat box as well. So congratulations, your business has been listed. You will now see here on our homepage, Numero Uno, the cafe uh, coffee has been listed. So you'll see the great image at the top there We'll see um, the delivery options. We've got your showcase photos showing the best 10 photos of your business. Here we've got two menus. So we've got our coffee menu and our tea menu listing three, three products of coffee, two products of tea, and you can add as many as you want here. Um, you've got your media channel to the right. So that was the chosen one being the uh, Instagram account, but it can be any of the media channels we talked about. Um, 
we've got our categories that we've tagged ourselves to. So in this case, cafe and drinks, but you can choose whichever is relevant to you and the tags which showcase the great things about your business. Up to the top right, we've got the business contact information. So your email, your phone, your website, and again, your social channels. Customers can get in touch with you right here by clicking the inbox and sending you an email, or they can fill in the contact me form uh, right below it and press send. So you'll get sent an email to your inbox as well as to your, um, your fair foodie inbox, which I'll show you right up the top here with a little envelope symbol showing you that's where you'll receive your messages and to the right of that is your notifications. However, if you prefer to receive the emails to your email account, that will also happen. I'll just take you through these tabs at the top of your profile as well. The first one is photos, so that will showcase all the great photos that you've uploaded from your business. The third tab is description, so the great story about who you are, your business and your founder. The fourth tab is your videos, so the video links that you've uploaded from YouTube or Vimeo. Your menu order. Your events, so if you, um, I showed you earlier where you can add an event. Um, which is in the add listing button. If you did want to go in and add an event, either a face-to-face -face or a virtual event, here's a great place to do that and tag it back to your business. And reviews. So customers who've used your product and loved your product can write a review here, giving you star ratings and a great comment about your business or your product. Um, and they will then remain attached to your business. So this is great for um, showcasing happy customers. And the last tab is listing settings and this allows you to adjust the layout of your, um, your business listing. However, I don't recommend you um, play with this. You can if you want, but it's not important I think at this stage. Um, the last buttons I should show you up here are the favorite buttons. So customers who are browsing different business listings uh, on the site can choose to select their few favorite if they want to come back to it at a later stage or compare you know, one listing against another. Here's a quick link to your um, inbox so people can send you a message and then people can share your business. So if they want to show uh, the great business listing to a friend on Facebook or Instagram or uh, Twitter, they can do that there or email. And the final three buttons you'll see, which are a bit hidden, is the report function. So if people or yourself discover a business listing on here that doesn't look quite right, it might appear a little dodgy or you've dealt with them in the past or people have dealt with your business in the past and had a really bad experience, we want to show transparency here. So we invite our customers to report them uh, for whatever reason. They do need to give us a reason and we will investigate whether we need to um, uh, deactivate a certain business profile if it doesn't look to be authentic. Great, well, I wish you all the best. Congratulations if you've now just set up your business listing. If you have had trouble or got any questions along the way, get in touch. We've got a very friendly support team and it costs you nothing to have support. Uh, we just want to help you get up and running. So get in touch, even if it's just to say hello. We look forward to having you on our site. All right, all the best with your business. Thank you.